Hello, my name's Kim Fee and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator for the UK. Today I'd like to show you this card. I made a stamp out of the die, the gears stick there. I quite liked it. Um, this is the stamp set that it actually goes with, but there isn't this image on there as a stamp and I really wanted to make a background using the stamp and it's very, very simple if you have a big shot and your dies. So I started with, let's put these to one side, I started with die cutting my stamp and I used a piece of fun foam, but it's adhesive backed. You could use the ordinary fun foam. Um, I think this was about a pound a sheet. The ordinary one's about 50p and you could put Pritt stick on there for easy removal. Um, but I just used an old block that I no longer use so it's all um, a bit manky really and I just stuck it on there and I, I don't intend to take it off because I, I really like this as a stamp and I'm going to use it so let's show you how I did that very very simple with your big shot so I'm just going to bring the big shot up over to the table I'm sorry about the um, the lighting but it's uh, it's bad weather here in the UK and it's not very good at all, even with all the lights that I have here. So we're just going to put the, oh, I can see that you can't really see it there. Let's move that up a little bit without having to catch the camera stand. So I've got my fun foam with the adhesive down and then I put my die over the top. Now you can um, roll it over a couple of times and then turn it over because it's intricate to make sure it cuts properly. But what I do, I just turn it upside down with the bits there and I'll run it through a couple of times. So let's make sure it's not moved. And I just run, I'm going to do that. Try and do it gently without making the table wobble, which it is. So. Sorry for the seasickness. But I just want to make sure that I do it in front of you, really. I could have just cut it out and showed you, but what's the point in that? There we go. So. Move this out of the way. I will be wanting that again in a minute. So there we are, we're back to, to our die. And you just easily pop that out. And you can take your pokey tool, or you can just pop them out with your finger. They easily come out. There's lots of little round dots that you could actually make another another little stamp with it because um, that would look nice as well, wouldn't it? So that's that. That's showed you how to make your own stamp. You peel off the back side and you just lay it onto your block. Now, next we want to make our card blank. So I'm going to do this from, from scratch because uh, there's quite a few newbies that, that follow me and um, we can let them know how we make a card blank. So I start off making a C6 size and this is the A4 paper here in the UK. I just slide it along to, let's see if we can show you here, 14.8, um, so two centimetres back from from 15 and you cut it in half and that's your A5. But what we're gonna do for time, I normally cut two at a time. So I take it in on the vertical side and I take it along to 10 and a half centimeters and I score. That saves me just one and two movements because now I turn it round and take it to the 14.8 centimeters here. and I just cut straight up the middle. So that's two movements. So that's my card blank. I've got one for now and one for later. 
Then I want to make my mat. So I'll show you how I do that. Again, I do two. So I take my A4 sheet. And this time I take it to 14.3. Make sure it's butted up because you don't want it to go wonky. And I just cut. I then twist this around horizontal and I take it to 10. So I'm half a centimetre back from the card blank crease. And again, I make two. Because then this saves me if I need the same matting and layers. There we go, so we've got two, two card blanks. And then we mat. And now we want to make the top layer what we're going to be stamping on. So we're going to be stamping on that. So I take that back too. I'm just going to be double checking. 14, yes, that's right. So again, I take a whole sheet or if I've got half a sheet, so I'll just use that. But I take that to 14. Get rid of that piece. And I take that back another five centimetres. So we started out creasing at 10 and a half. We cut our first mat at 10, and now our second mat with a small board around, I'm cutting at nine and a half centimetres. I'll make two of those. it so we've got our little mat there so now we've got if we take this away we have our card blank our mat and our top mat okay so what I'm going to do before I start stamping I'm going to be cutting out all my elements so I have a spare piece here and I'm going to be cutting out the heart, this bit here. But I need um, the two dies. I got these from the new dies that have come, stitched hearts, I think they're called. Oh, Be Mine Stitched Framelit dies. Um, so you've got hearts one side and then you've got all lovely bits and pieces the other side. Fabulous. So what we're going to do, to get the heart that looks like this, let's put it on this bit here, we need the two dies that actually make this. So you can use that for another project. So we lay down our dies. So what I'm going to do is cut all the elements out of the matting bit so that you haven't got to waste cardstock just cutting out a few little bits and pieces. Sorry, I'm getting a bit off squish there. Okay, so we cut out that and those two from the inside of your matting. So we're gonna gut the middle as it's called. So I shall bring back the big shot. I'm just going to change over and use my magnetic my magnetic plate and you can see everything is well used. So here we've got all the bits and pieces for our elements and we've put them straight in the middle there. I'm just going to pull that out of shot and I'm going to lay piece of white card I'm going to put down the scalloped edge die first I'm just going to let it lay where the magnetic strips take it and then I'm going to put in the smaller one but we want to try and line it up the best way we can so that we've got an equal 
we've got an equal border of stitching all the way around rather than what I've done here okay so now we're just going to take that for our big shot so a little bit more seasickness for you I'm afraid but we only need to really go through once and it will cut it perfect but we're just going to bring it back the other way okay so we're going to move that to one side move that to one side and we'll just fry a big shot out of, out of range I'm just going to pull my chair up to have a seat okay so now we have our dies that we're taking away we've got our stitched heart I don't know what um, this is called actually a little flag I suppose really so now we've got that we've got that cut out because that's going to go over there and we've got our larger die and we're just going to flick a little bit there poke the little bits out okay so we've got all the elements that we want and we've got them from the gutting bit of our of our thing just want to double check you're in shot yeah there we go right so we're going to put this to one side what I'm going to do first is I'm going to stamp the heart I've already put it on the stamparatus I've lined it up so that I put the heart if I want to do um, lots because I did do a swap with this so I just lined it up over here by the ruler bit so I know that I'm I'm in the correct place and as you can see I stamped it just to make sure so we just line that up there and the colours I'm using is night and navy but you can do this in in red for for valentine's as well as blue you can do it in any colours really I suppose whatever colour takes your fancy I'm just going to put this little bit here just ink that up there oh oh I nearly moved that there you go you jump you jump start my heart and instead it all the way around the wrong way then just going to for video purposes use the wet wipe so we get rid of that that goes over there with that now here comes the fun part using the stamp you just made so I want to have um, like a faded effect not not an ombre effect but just a, a faded because I, I felt that even though I'm using smoky slate and that's quite light it was still dark when it went on to the white so I do a lot of inking up and stamping off so I ink up and I stamp off twice and then I just lay on and press I'm so glad I didn't chuck this block away that yuckiness so again we ink up and we stamp off and we stamp again there we go and all I've been using to clean it is with wet wipe or with the chamois 
and it just comes off perfectly. That will last you a long time, I'm sure. A long, long time. So let's have a look what we're going to do next. Oh, I've got rather mucky hands. Okay, so we're going to take our card blank back now because we've stamped and punched all our elements. Just going to give it a nice crease. And we're going to now glue our mat on. And I'm using Tombow because that's my just my preferred adhesive to go it gives me a little wiggle room and I absolutely love it so now we just lay that on oh look at my blue fingers oh gosh and just firm it in with your hand then we're going to lay on our white mat that we've just stamped with our own stamp we've just made with our dies so I'm going to lay that on there. I hope it's not a bit skewy because I normally do this standing up. Okay, so now I'm going to change over adhesives because um, it's quite intricate. Not a lot of room to put your glue if you don't want to get messy with it. So here comes the fine tip glue. And just, I just go around the edge of the frame. I don't go on the towel wings, if that's what they're called. I just go around the edge of the frame bit. And I line that up there. Just press that down gently. You can lay your bone folder on it if you want to while you're putting your tip back in your glue. That's a must, as soon as you've used it, put your tip back in your glue, even though you're gonna get it open again in a minute. Right, so now I'm going to add a glue dot to the back. This is my preferred adhesive when I'm adding a little bit of thread. So I've got something to work with. So I take the metallic silver thread, it's lovely fine and silvery and shiny and I know we don't do, when we, when we do men's, we don't do a lot of bling on our card, but you know, sometimes it just needs that little something. So all I'm doing is just doing a figure of eight, and I don't care if it's messy. Uh, that's what it's all about, because let's face it, men are messy, aren't they? When they're in their garages, when they're tinkering with their cars, and just looks a little bit of, gives it a little bit of oomph. So now, um, if I can find them, I need my dimensionals. So I'm going to put three, three on. I'm going to do it just over the top of that. Not that I need to, but I'm going to do it over the top of the glue dot. I love how easy the backing comes off on our dimensionals. Right, so now we, we can choose where we want to put the heart. You could actually put it down here, that'd look nice as well. I'm just going to I'm going to stick with with what I did on the original card. Just pop that down, just press it. Now we bring back our little cogs, our little gears. And again we're going to be using the fine tip glue. So we just want to add a little bit there. We're going to tuck it under. So lift it up and tuck it under. Don't lay it down and slide it because that's where you're going to get all your glue everywhere. So we're just going to do that, little tuck there. I'm going to move that slightly because I did see a little bit of ink, uh, glue come out, squishy out there. But don't worry if you get a little bit. You can always put a rhinestone on the top. A little bit of glue there. Just 
to lay that under there. Just going to lay this on there for the minute while I put the tip back on my glue. Now, this card is nearly done, so all we've got to do now is just to add our rhinestone. So I'm picking, uh, we've got three sizes, we've got the tiny ones, the middle ones and the larger ones. So I'm going to be using the middle ones for today. So I'm going to put one up there, one up there and one down here. And that's it. You're done. A quick, simple card. Yeah, okay, I've got all messy on my hands. But a quick, simple card for either anniversary, for just to tell your man that you love him. Valentine's anniversary, even birthday card. But there you go. And you've made that with your very own stamp that you've made. So if you, if you would like to purchase any of the items that I've shown today, there is links at the bottom of this video. Um, if you don't have a demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. Um, and I thank you for watching. Um, please do leave a comment. I, I do love to see what you think. And um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Bye. <laughs>